Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to take on, uh, to, well take out uh, as a demo and uh, we're going to test drive Nightcrawler and we're going to see we have a couple synergies, all the synergies are activated here and we're going to use Nightcrawler and you're going to see he is not awakened. He's still a rank one of five. You're going to see he has a, he's a defensive champ, 24% critical, critical damage on 187, block proficiency in armor 14 and 62. So again, you can see his uh, attributes and then we're going to go into a quick gameplay and show you that Nightcrawler is not just for defense. In fact, he's much better for defense if he's unawakened. But I'm gonna demo and give you some tips and gameplay with using Nightcrawler for attack. He is very, very good at attack because he's so evasive. It's very hard to hit this dude. You're gonna see he's 100% held here. You're gonna see we're gonna just be blocking. We're gonna be evading. He is the best for evading this uh, SPs from this Winter Soldier. A lot of the other champions we've demoed actually take damage from Winter Soldiers. Uh, not SP1 because you could pretty much um, you could evade the SP1, but it's very uh, difficult to evade his SP2s as you're gonna see. But this Nightcrawler has absolutely no problem evading everything with this guy. And again, still at 100% damage. We have this guy down to 90% already. This is a six-star Nightcrawler. I am really happy that I have him now because I see what he can do as a six-star, and he could. He did it as a five star and a four star, but uh, his evade here is ridiculous. You're gonna see we're gonna start critting uh, a little bit more uh, when we get down. Um, Winter Soldier be uh, below 50%, and we're gonna go into a different type of gameplay. And then we're gonna switch Nightcrawler's mode. And how you switch Nightcrawler's mode is by backing or um, dashing back and holding it for about a couple, uh, one or two seconds. I believe it's two seconds and then he switches modes. This right now is his invade mode, which is fantastic to demo. He does very little critting. You see, he does normal crit rating that you would expect on any champion. But when we switch modes into his swatch, uh, swashbuckling mode, then you will see him do a ton more crit rating. So those 2000 crits and stuff is gonna be eight to 10,000 crit ratings because he's gonna be doing so much more damage. As you can see, this guy is still 97% and we are doing uh, everything with this um, Winter Soldier, no problem. He just evades pretty much 99% of everything. And if he didn't evade it, it is because of my mistake uh, game playing. And there you go. That was me allowing him to take a hit to see how durable he is. He is pretty durable, and again, it's very difficult to hit this guy anyway. As you can see, he holds the block, he evades all of that, he takes absolutely no damage from those. And now you see an 8,000 crit rate in there. And that's far and few in between in this mode, but we're gonna switch up modes in a second and show you in the second half of this um, fight, um, him in swashbuckling mode. And you're gonna see the crit rating actually improve. But again, you're gonna get the damage output, but you're not gonna get the evades when you switch modes. So just remember that. So with champions that are firing out projectiles and stuff at you, you wanna be in this mode here that he's in. And uh, when they're not actually going to be firing off projectiles and all this crazy stuff that doesn't need evading, you could actually switch to the swash buckling mode by holding that dash back for a couple seconds and you're going to do extreme amount of damage damage with nightcrawler okay we're gonna switch up modes in a second still quite a lot of damage just in evade mode and this is with the least amount of damage that he will he'll be doing I think we saw 8,000 crit rated one time so far. Everything else has been about two to 3,000 crit rated on average. We're gonna fire off his SP2 and see what that does. 3,000, 8,000, eight. So that's about 12,000 crit damage there with that SP2. 
Now we push S, um, him to his SP2, and as you can see, absolutely no damage from that SP2. He just evades that as like a champion. And all you do is you hold your block, he does the evading for you, you don't have to worry about it. This SP1 is normal evade. When you see him going to that stance, you just wanna dash back, dex, dex it out. You don't need to do it with Nightcrawler, but it's fun and it's practice anyway for the other champs. Now we're in swashbuckling mode, 8,700 crit rating. We held that back. Now we're all in damage output. Now you're gonna see the crit rating go up quite a bit here now. Every strike is hitting him some serious crits. There you go, almost 5,000 crit rating. Swashbuckling mode is doing damage. He's only gonna be able to hold block now. He's not gonna evade it, but look at the damage with the crits. It is going up. And he's melting away this guy with bleeds, 1700 bleed, instantly instant bleed. Um, I don't know if you guys catch that, you could probably slow the volume, um, slow it down. We just dash back, held the block, and we back into the evade mode that he's in. So we're not going to be doing a lot of critting here at this point. But let's go back into sw um, swashbuckling mode. And now let's see the damage go. As you're going to see, his crit rating is going to be awesome. 10,300 there. And he is just going to be putting out some bleed damage on this guy. 1700 bleed, instant bleed, 2000 plus crits. And if we fire off an SP, we're going to get a lot more crit rating. And there you have it, guys. This guy is awesome. He's absolutely devastating. Don't be afraid to rank up Nightcrawler for both attack and defense. Remember, guys, work less, play more, enjoy life. 282, he took 19 hits. Absolutely very little to no damage on this guy. Catch you guys next time.